Hello, my name is Miss Lee and welcome to Chinese class. This is a beginner class which focuses primarily in pinyin. We're going to get started in just a minute, but I want to tell you what this class is going to cover. Today I will be teaching you some simple words. All right. I will be teaching you how to start a very simple conversation with someone that you don't know. So, hopefully after today, you will be able to start a conversation with someone and find out some information about them and also know some words. And I will also teach you how to count from 1 to 10. Alright, we're not going to be talking about characters in this class. They're a little more difficult, advanced. So this is all on pinyin, which is phoneticized Chinese. And it's going to be much easier for you to learn as an English speaker. It'll be easier for you to read and memorize, hopefully. Alright. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to be writing on my whiteboard here and then I will ask you to repeat after me. Okay. The Chinese Mandarin, which is what I'm teaching you, has four different tones. First tone looks like this Ma Ma The second tone dips down and then back up. Ma Ma The third tone carries the same inflection throughout. Ma Ma. There should be no change in the voice. And the fourth tone is sharp, almost as if you are yelling. Ma. Ma. Now based on the different tones, words can have completely different meanings. Notice that the word ma stayed the same, however the tone changed, which changed the meaning of the word. There is such a thing as a neutral tone, which is no tone at all. It would just look like the word ma. And the word ma, with no tone, signifies a question. You would add it onto the end of a sentence, like a question mark. The first thing you're going to learn might be something that you already know. You've probably heard it before. Ni hao. Ni hao means hello. Now, if we break this down, we have two different words. Ni and hao. Notice the tones. Ni, hao. This word here, ni, means you. And this word here, hao, means good. 
So what you're literally saying is you good. So you've met someone and you told them hello. The next thing you're going to do is ask them their name. Ni Jashima. Ni Jashima. So here we have the word you again. Ni. This word jia means to call. You are called something. Shama means what? You are called what? Ninja Shama. And the reply is, Wajia. Wajia. Wa means I. And again, we have the word Jia. We need to call. I'm called. And you fill in the blank with your name. Wajia, Miss Lee. Now you've inquired their name. They've asked yours, but here's another way of asking someone. Nina. Nina means and you. Like, what are you called? But you do not have to use it when saying someone's name. You could have told them how old you are or where you live and you say Nina. So how about you? Nina. Yeah, the na is has no tone. It is a neutral tone. So na. Yes, that's correct. Nishin na goren. Alright, now, you should recognize this word by now. Ni, this means you. Shi, fourth tone. Shi. This means is or are. Na, this means like what? Guo. Guo is country. And ren is person, country person. So if you put that all together, you should be able to figure out this is asking you what your ethnicity is, your nationality, where you're from, what country you're from. Try it again. That sounds good. Yes. What country are you from? Well, now, there's obviously several different ways you could answer that, depending on what country you're from. But the base sentence is going to say the same. Again, wa, I, shi, 
am is our I am This means American. So this sentence says, I am American. Here's Guo again. Country. Ren. Person. And this character here, Mei, means beautiful. So, America, Mei Guo, in Chinese, translates to beautiful country. What should Mei Guo run? Beautiful country person. Right? But maybe you're not American. Or should Chungoran? Or should Chungoran? Zhongguo is China. So Zhongguoren, Chinese, Chinese person. I am Chinese. 我是中国人. 中, 中. Good. Sounds good. So, 我是中国人 means I'm from China. I'm Chinese. Maybe not Chinese though. means England or Inguaran means a British. Inguaran. Now Ing Ingua translates to mean brave country. England is a brave country is what China thought. Zhongguoran, I forgot to tell you, uh, means middle country. So obviously, this being a Chinese language, China would be the middle of everything, the center. All right, and one last country. This one's slightly different. Now this one is lacking the word guo, country, because this does not translate to mean anything like guo, mei guo. Jianada is supposed to be phonetic, sounding the way it, meaning the same as it sounds. So if you listen, you can try to figure out what it means. Jianada. Canada, 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 Canadian. I am Canadian. So there you go. Those are some different countries that you can say you're from. So when you are ready to leave, your new friend. Say goodbye. Say. Zaijian. Two fourth tones. So, Zaijian. Zaijian. Next thing I 
I'm going to teach you how to do is how to count from 1 to 10. All right? Now, this is obviously something that you need to know because if you can count from 1 to 10, then you can essentially count forever. It's something very simple and basic that you should know. This one's very tricky. It's difficult for people to say for some reason. So. So. Four. So. And ten is sure. Sure. Very good. I'm going to say those again. I want you to repeat after me. E. simple that you're obviously going to need to know is how to say thank you. Xie xie. Xie xie. Xie xie. You can also add on the word ni. Xie xie ni. Xie xie ni. It's just a little bit more formal. It's like saying thank you instead of saying thanks. See how thanks is more informal? Xiao. Xiao means little, small. Xiao.
and opposite, da. Da means big. This is a big Next, I'm going to teach you some members of the family. You can guess that mom means mother. Ma. Ma. Mama. Baba. Baba. Ba. Baba means father. Just ba. Ba ho ma. Gugo. Gugo means older brother. Gugo. Notice how the first word is enunciated more strongly than the second word. You can leave off the second word, but if you want to just shorten it. Ma, ba, gu. Dee dee. That is a fourth tone, but it's hard to tell. Dee dee. Dee dee means little brother. Jia means older sister. Jia. Kuala means happy. So you could treat this treat this as two separate words. Kuai and lu. Kuai lu. Now you can combine the word happy, kuai lu, with other words. For example, Shangri-ra. Shangri-ra means birthday, so Shangri-ra kuai lu. Happy birthday, although birthday happy. Shangri-ra kuai lu. Say it a little bit slower. Shangri-ra kuai lu. You'll see again in just a second because goodbye. 
in it. To make tomorrow, 明天 So obviously, you can see the 天 means like day. 明天明天 Shinchi e, shinchi e means Monday. Now notice e meaning one, so this is like day one, Monday. Shinchi ar, Tuesday. Ar, two. Do you remember your letters? You should remember that sun comes next. Shinchi sun, Wednesday. Shinchi su, for Thursday. Shinchi Wu, Friday, fifth, five, Wu. Shinchi Liu, Liu, six, Shinchi Liu. This is Saturday. All right, and Sunday is a little bit different because we don't continue in the alphabet. Instead, it's Shinchiru. Ru means sun. So if you think about sun day, ha, <laughs> get it? Shinchiru, ru, ru, a bit like su, sort of the same. Ru, it's like. Okay, something else common to know, good to know. Xi Huan, Xi Huan means like, to like something. Xi Huan. Okay. Now, if you add the word bu in front of it. Bu means no or like negative. So bu xi huan, I don't like. Don't like. 我不喜欢 I don't like. 不喜欢不喜欢对对啊 and on opposite scale. 最喜欢 I like the most. So I meaning like、uh, most out of all. So I like this most out of everything. I like it the most. So I see, huh? Almost like your favorite. And the last little word I'm gonna teach you is just. 东西，东西 just means like things, just various things. 东西，对。All right, thank you very much for coming and learning. I hope you enjoyed your lesson.
and I hope you come back for another because obviously <laughs> Chinese is a huge language and that barely just makes the surface I have lots to learn and then there's characters too which are covered in the more advanced class but if you're interested you can always sign up for that and I'll also teach you some about calligraphy so if you're interested you can always sign up for that all right well I hope to see you again thank you very much for coming 再见